Whoa. That looks super gross. <laughs> Yo, what's up, internet? We're gonna teach you guys how to make cool pano pictures. What are panos? Well, you've probably seen them around. They're panorama phone camera glitches. Basically ones where maybe there's like a baby that's stretched out across the floor or someone's face is appearing in five parts of the image. That's happening because you're glitching out the panorama feature of your phone. This is how it works. Your phone sees the image before it, the world before it, and it takes pictures, reading it as you're moving the phone. So, if you wanna glitch it out, you start moving things against or with the way that the phone is scanning the image. How do you gauge where the phone is reading the images? It's a little hard to tell and you have to watch your preview screen to get the hang of it, but after a few of them, you'll find it in no time. This is particularly important when trying to do the scrunched face ones, and the only way to see that is just to gauge the preview once again, and you're panning up, they'll look down, and you'll see that little line starting to chop the center of their face, creating a glitched out scrunchy face image. So the real trick to getting really funny looking panorama images is when you're looking in that little preview window, like it's super tiny and it's showing you where the image is scanning, right in the middle of that window is where it's actually updating the picture. So right in the middle of that window when you're moving your phone is where you want to be gauging where you're going to be moving things and shifting things to get them distorted. Dude, your phone is so broken. All right, ready Jake? So put your arm out. Ah. The other direction, that, toward, that way. Ah. I'm gonna hit go and start moving. Stop. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Wait, wait, let's do a reverse one. What do you mean a reverse one? Reverse crunchy. So you're gonna go, when I scan up, you're gonna start your head up. Ready? So head down. Here, let's do a short stack. Arms and legs need to be in line with the camera because you are you need to create straight lines. And three, two, go. Dude, that looks so small. You, you, you need to cut off before the knees, though. You're right, let's do it one more time. Here, Ren, I'm gonna do a short stack of you, all right? While holding the camera. While holding the camera? All right. Three, two, one, go. Get down, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Dude. <laughs> You're pretty short there, oh except, God. except see, see the leg bend is a little hard to deal with. You, yeah. have, to, you, you have to like go, you have to turn yourself into a box. Can you make my head this big, as big as the whole room? I'll try. All right, from here, rather than cut off the line mid-section, you're cutting it at the neck and moving the head forwards to enlarge it. Come straight to the camera. You're going this way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Dude, you got my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that one's still pretty good, That's though. really creepy. It's like That one's really creepy, actually. <laughs> so that's basically how to make a pano picture. If you guys make anything cool and you want to share it, make sure you tweet them at us, at Corridor Digital, and uh, watch out for cops, because they don't like it when you do it to them. So, have fun, and uh, good luck out there. You're only limited by your imagination, and your phone's memory space. Yes. Panos, you're only limited by your imagination. <laughs>